In this video, we're gonna talk about why you need to start filming all of your iPhone videos in Apple ProRes Log. We're gonna talk about how you can turn on that setting to start recording videos in Apple ProRes Log because it's not turned on by default. And then finally, we're gonna talk about how you can edit that log footage to make it usable completely for free, regardless of if you're on Windows or on Mac OS. 100% free, you're not gonna have to buy any kind of editing software or anything like that. I feel like that would be kind of ridiculous after you've already spent $2,000 on a brand new iPhone to then have to go out and purchase editing software. So if that sounds like all things that you wanna learn about, then definitely stick around. Now there is a quick disclaimer that I wanna provide in this video before we start. Apple ProRes Log is only available for the iPhone 15 and 16 Pros. You need to have those two specific Pro models in order to make Apple ProRes Log work. It doesn't work on any of the older models before the 15 Pros. And so that's just something you should know if you're watching this video. Now, as always with these type of videos, I try and keep sponsors out of it and the additional chit chat to a minimum. So you can get out there and start filming incredible videos with your iPhone right away and start impressing everybody that you know. Now, first off, let's start off with why you wanna start filming in Apple ProRes Log. Now, I'm gonna have a few examples playing while I talk about this. So you can see the difference in some videos that were filmed in the normal color profile on your iPhone, which is what you're used to. And then in Apple ProRes Log, in Apple ProRes Log is that you actually get higher dynamic range out of your camera. Now, if you don't know what this means, essentially, whenever you're filming videos in Apple ProRes Log, you're gonna retain more details in the highlights, which is the brightest parts of your image, and in your shadows, which is the darkest parts of your image, which will then help you in turn edit your footage better with more detail. Now, speaking of detail, this brings us to the second reason why you wanna start filming everything in Apple ProRes Log. Now, whenever you film something in the normal color profile on your iPhone, which is what you're used to, there's a ton of editing that happens in the background that you don't see, which then creates the final video, which Apple applies their own color transformation to, their own sharpening, their own noise reduction, everything like that. Now, the issue with that is, is that you can't really make any changes to those types of videos. You can't go in then and then edit an already edited video. The analogy that I like to give is that trying to edit colored footage already, so a normal color profile, is kind of like trying to reheat leftover food in a microwave and hoping that it'll still be as good as fresh food. Whereas when you record everything in Apple ProRes Log, you're basically getting the raw image off of the sensor without any kind of processing. So no color correction, no sharpening, no noise reduction, which is why it looks great. And yes, this does mean that you have to color grade it, which we will get into and you have to sort of fix the image, but this gives you a ton more flexibility in post and the ability to change the colors of your image a lot more easily because nothing has been edited yet. You're basically building a meal from scratch so you can build it however you want. And this is how people get professional looking images out of their iPhone that makes it look like a real camera because you're able to then go in and tweak literally every single component of that image without anything already applied to it. So hopefully all these examples and these reasonings have convinced you to start shooting everything in Apple ProRes Log. For a lot of you, it'll actually help you not to have to go out and buy a mirrorless or professional camera if you're just starting and be able to film everything on your iPhone. I actually recommend the new iPhone 15 and 16 Pro to a lot of beginner filmmakers that don't really have a budget for a big professional camera because you get three lenses and now you have Apple ProRes Log built into here. You get some really good looking footage out of these iPhones. Okay, cool. So now you know why you wanna film an Apple ProRes Log and you're convinced. So how do you start doing that? It's honestly really simple. And I do have a full video on my channel that explains all of the different settings for both photography and video. And I'll leave that linked up there somewhere above. And I definitely think you should go check it out because it breaks down every single setting that you need to change. But for the purpose of this video, in order to just turn on Apple ProRes Log, you wanna head into your camera settings, go down into formats, turn on ProRes and make sure that log is selected. Okay, cool, once you turn the setting on, then you need to go into your camera app and whenever you switch to video mode, you're gonna notice that now you have this option for ProRes log in the top left corner. All you have to do is you just tap on that and now you're filming in log. You'll know that you're filming in log because your screen will most likely turn pretty gray because that's what log footage looks like and you're gonna have a max recording time at the top. Now, something to note, you can film in 4K at 24 and 4K at 30 frames per second internally on your device in log. If you try and flip this to 60 or 120 on the iPhone 16 Pros, you're gonna notice that you get an error message saying that the file can't be supported or whatever. The way to get around this is that you actually need to plug in an external hard drive 
into your iPhone while filming because the data required to process the logged files in 60 and 120 frames per second is just way too big to do it internally. So if you wanna film in 60 or 120 frames per second in log, you will need an external hard drive. Me personally, I film everything in 4K, 24 and 4K at 30 in log on my iPhone just because I wanna keep it simple and I don't wanna add any kind of other devices. So that's what I suggest you do, but if you do wanna film higher again, just get an external hard drive and that's how you start filming in log. Okay, cool. So now you filmed your footage in log and now it looks all great. So the next question becomes, how do you edit it and how do you make the footage usable? And how do you start tweaking things in order for the footage to look professional? Like I promised you. So the first thing you want to download is you want to download CapCut for your desktop. Now this is a completely free application and again it works on both Mac and PC. So it doesn't matter what platform you're on, you can download it completely for free. There are some pro features in there that you might need to pay for if you want to do anything. But everything that I'm going to show you in this video is going to be completely free. You don't need to go out and pay for anything. So first up, you want to download CapCut for your desktop. Okay cool, now once you've downloaded CapCut and you've opened up the program, the first thing you want to do is you just want to drop in your footage onto your timeline you can just drag and drop that I've already done that here so you'll notice that I have my log footage here and it's completely gray which is the way that it's supposed to look like initially now the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your footage you want to go to the top and you want to click on adjustment and then you'll see an icon for LUT down here you want to click LUT now you're gonna notice that I already have an Apple log transformation LUT in here and this is also completely free and I will leave a link below for you to download it in the description but essentially every Every single camera company like Canon, Sony, DJI, and even Apple have their own transformation LEDs that help you convert this log footage into a normal looking profile. Now you might be wondering why am I shooting in log if I'm just gonna convert the footage and then make it look normal again. This is just the first step in the color grading process. You wanna convert your log footage into a Rec. 709 color space, which is basically a normal color space. And then you start to make your adjustments, which I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, cool. Once you've downloaded the LED that I've linked below, you wanna go ahead and you wanna click import on the LED page and then you want to select the Apple Log to Rec. 709 V1Q file. You are going to notice that there's an Apple Log to Lin file. That's not the one you want. You want to use Rec. 709. Go ahead and open. I'm not going to do that because I already have the file up here. And then you'll notice that the Apple Log Cube appears over here. So you, what you want to do is you want to take it, you want to drag it onto your timeline, and then you just want to stretch it out over the entire length of your footage. And you're going to notice that with the adjustment layer, the footage is already completely transformed. It looks like it would if you shot it in a normal profile, which is our starting point. Now CapCut for free actually has some incredibly powerful color grading tools. So I'm gonna ignore all this pro stuff over here and we're gonna use all of the free items built in. And this is the advantage of filming in log. These are all the options down here that you wouldn't be able to adjust if you shot in a normal color profile. So you're actually able to change the exposure of your entire image and really change around the style of what you want it to look like. So if I wanted it to be brighter over here I want a little bit more contrast in my image I want to pull back the highlights a little bit maybe I want to lift the shadows because it's a little bit too dark in there you can see how I'm starting to really change the image and really edit it in a way that makes it look more professional I can increase the sharpening of the image if I'm not happy with what it looks like in the log profile and again these are the little tricks that start to make your image look a lot more professional when you shoot in log now my personal favorite adjustment and the number one reason that I like to shoot in log is the ability to be able to change the colors of certain things so if I come into this H SL tab in CapCut, you're gonna notice that I'm able to change some colors around. So if I go ahead and select orange, which is the color of this stoplight over here, and I go ahead and start playing around with the tint, you're gonna notice that I can fully change the color of the stoplight. I can turn it completely yellow if that's the look that I'm going for. And this is something that you would not be able to do if you shot in a normal color profile. I can increase the saturation of the yellow, and then I can even make it less bright if I feel like the yellow is too bright. And just like that, I went from an orange stoplight to a yellow stoplight, which I think is incredibly useful. And similarly, I can also change the color of the sky, which is the other main color in this image, which is blue. So if I go ahead and I hit blue, I can make the sky a little bit more teal. I can bring down the lightness if I feel like the sky is too bright. I can bring it all the way down. 
I can maybe increase like the saturation a little bit. And now I'm getting the sense that my image overall is a little bit too bright. So if I come back into my basic adjustments, I can lower the exposure just a little bit to help balance everything out. And then if I quickly click on this and then I press the keyboard shortcut V, which is what disables and enables certain adjustment layers for you to be able to see things, you're gonna see that this is where we started. This is the original log profile looking video. And then if I enable this, this is what we've been able to transform it to. And hopefully this gives you an idea of how powerful log can be. But yeah, that's it. It's really that simple. A lot of people make log very complicated and very intimidating to approach. The truth is, is that it's really not and the things that you can do with it are actually really impressive and really incredible and will help you take that next step in becoming a better filmmaker. So hopefully that answered all your questions for how you can start filming in log, why you need to start filming in Apple ProRes log and how to edit everything quickly for free. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best as always to try and get to as many as possible, but that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.